Hi there learners and welcome to the final push. We are now looking at our theory series of videos and we're going to be looking at 2022, the November final, 2023 and our 2024 prelim. So in this video, I'm going to be looking at the uh, first three questions that we usually get. So let's go and have a look and see what this looked like. Okay, so let me just move this over here. Open this up so we can see. And you can see that is November 2022. I just want to get that memo out as well so we can see exactly how they want us to answer some of these things. Okay. Just move it over here. All right, there we go. So if we look at our paper, you can see Section A is worth 25 marks, Section B is worth 75 marks now, and then Section C, 50 marks. Please, that's not written in stone that it has to be broken up like that. Sometimes it can be a bit less, can be a bit more on others, but it's around about 150 marks, and you've got three hours for that. So let's just have a look at what we find in question one, two, and three. So question one there you can see are multiple choice questions. Now, they can be anywhere between 5 and 10 multiple choice questions. Um, from there, this was the 2022 final. They had matched the column. That's a typical one that comes up. And you can see that only had 5. So they were only looking for 5. Then they wanted you to choose the most appropriate term for the particular definition. So they give you that and basically ask you to write in here which one fits. And let's see, so that was about 10 marks as well. And that got us to our 25 marks. Now I want to move this out of the way. Let me put that memo there. Because I want to look now at the 2023 paper. And let's see what happened there. Let's see if it works on the same principle, which it should. Okay, so there you can see November 2023, 25 75 50 so same story let's go down multiple choice again multiple choice match the column okay so this one's slightly different choose the most appropriate abbreviation so again we need to know our definitions right there's a definition we must know what these acronyms stand for what the acronym means and that gets us to our 25 marks now, let's have a look at our 2024 prelim, because these are the ones I'm going to be going through. 25, 75, 50. So now, that's the first thing we see now, okay? And you can see here in question one, it was multiple choice for 10 marks. True and false, so let's have a look at that. Multiple choice for 10 marks. That was all fine. And then question two, again, do you see? Definition, choose the correct term, right? In the sense that you need to circle the word in the brackets, which will make each sentence true. And then I'll match the column, and that would be our section A for 25 marks. Okay, so let's go back to 2022, and let's go through these questions. Let's see what type of questions um, they are asking. Here they ask us which of the following would have ensured a safe supply of electricity, for computers during load shedding, all right? We know that that is our UPS. What does a UPS stand for? Uninterrupted power supply. What does it do? It provides us with a power source when there's none coming from the plug, but it doesn't keep us on for a very long time. What's going to happen is the UPS is really just going to keep you up and running until you can safely shut down your PC. So it might give you um, 20 minutes, it might give you 15 minutes, it depends on the UPS. Here they ask us um, about our motherboard, identify the, in the component that forms an integral part of the motherboard, and these are your DIMM slots. And there you can see our multiple pictures of our DIMM slots where our memory goes in. Okay. Um, then they ask a little bit, the narrator in Windows is a what type of feature? It is an accessibility feature. Um, small picture that provides a preview of a file without opening the file. That's called our thumbnail. Okay, so you can go through this. 
Um, I will include all of this on my uh, Google Drive. So everything will be there. So we've got questions around green computing. Um, yeah, talking about different e-readers. Identify the technology used to connect a variety of different devices together. All right, so that's our USB. It allows us to, again, look here. The most commonly used to connect a variety. What's the most common way of connecting to your PC? Via USB. Okay, then they ask you here, yeah, what with what is the icon shown here associated? So when you see this icon, what does, what does that mean? What does that mean for you? It indicates a hotspot. Okay, and then the protocol that provides a measure of protection to users of websites when online banking is done, and that is our HTTP is our secure hypertext transfer protocol. Okay, so that's what we see there. Then I'm just going to look at what's in column B for your match the column. So you can see things like utility in dash. You remember that? Piggybacking, protocol, bytes, dash, firewall, lumen, patch, date, gigahertz. So let's maybe just go through these. Computer storage and memory are often measured in bytes, a specific file property that can be used to search for certain files. What is that going to be? Is that going to be a specific file property that can be used to search for certain files? The date. Okay, out of all the options here, the date. A mid-sized horizontal line that is mostly used to show ranges in numbers and dates. That is going to be your N dash. A unit to describe the brightness of the image of a projector. What's that going to be in? Lumens. Do we have lumens here? Yes, we do. And gaining unauthorized access to make to and making use of a, of a connection in an unsecured Wi-Fi network. That is piggybacking. So... Go through these things, right? Go through these things. I'm going to make sure that the um, gizmo.ai platform is updated with all of that. Okay, and then the last one. Let's let's have a look at these quickly. Um, here we see what is a term used for a display that determines the difference between the darkest black and the brightest white. That is your contrast ratio. Companies often release the what version of their software for testing purposes before the software is released, that is beta. How do I know that? Because Shareware is software that I can download and use and share um, for a short while, like a trial version. Okay, next one. What is the process of transferring data from a database to a spreadsheet without simply copying and pasting it? You're not going to be converting or changing it. You are going to be exporting it. The spreadsheet functions... Left and right can be replaced by, remember, concatenate joins. That's not what they're asking you to do. So it is mid, the mid function to get the same result. And then the term DDR is associated with RAM, with the RAM of the computer. All right, and then they just want us to expand the following acronym. So GPS, Global Positioning System, RFID is your radio frequency identification, HDMI, your high-definition multimedia interface, Wi-Fi, your wireless fidelity, and USB, your universal serial bus. And that's your first 25 marks from 2022. Let's have a look at 2023. Okay, so in 2023, we see the same story here again. Um, multiple choice here. They're asking us which of these files can be downloaded as a podcast. Um, you know what a podcast is? Audio only. So we look at the extension to find that answer. Major source of income for cell phone companies today is users doing what? Doing what? Downloading apps. If an instruction is used repeatedly by a program, it is temporarily stored in a type of memory called the cache memory. Okay, so you can see freeware, shareware, adware, that is coming in. Um, what an avatar is. And out of these options, by the way, I mean, if you looked at the movie, 
um, avatar or anything like that. It's a 3D object printed by a virtual world. Okay, it's supposed to represent you in that virtual world. Uh, what did the most likely cause be when your computer switches on? However, there seems to be no communication between the different hardware components. So the, compo the components are not talking to one another, um, then you probably have some sort of damaged or loosely connected cables. It can't be a monitor, and it won't be the mouse. And EMI will shut everything down. Okay. Then, most likely reason um, why it may be necessary to do an absolute addressing. So, absolute um, references in a spreadsheet. We use that when we copy a formula down or function to other cells. Um, here we go with this section again. So, what is used to determine whether or not a computer being operated is being operated by a robot? That's your capture. Um, here you can see conditional formatting and grouping, the difference between patches and bugs, check boxes, combo boxes, primary memory, and your operating systems. And then let's have a look. Ah, have a look here. Have a look here. 2023, end of 2023. Okay. Our cookies. And let's let's actually go through this quickly. The means of checking that an e-commerce site is legitimate. Let's have a look at the options, your URL lock. Remember that lock icon? That's what they're talking about. An alternative scanning technology used to access information about a given topic. A scanning technology. So is cookies a scanning technology? No. Plug and play. Piggybacking, UPS, Bluetooth, power supply, spyware, um, biometrics, peer-to-peer, -peer, your QR code. Mm, okay, that will work. Trying to look at a wireless network when using a laptop with relevant software and an antenna is known as... That is known as war driving. Okay, if you didn't know that, now you know. 2.1.3. Trying to locate a wireless network when using a laptop with relevant software and an antenna is known as war driving. Right, then 2.1.4. Technology that allows a device to be automatically installed when connected to a PC. What is that going to be? That's going to be our plug and play. A network in which all computers or nodes are equally important. What is that? That is our peer-to-peer -peer information that a website stores about a user on the user's hard disk. This enables the website to remember the details about the user when they next visit. And that is what a cookie is. Sounds like Arnold when he says, put that cookie down. Okay, um, a software program that travels the web, locating and indexing websites for search engines. So again, a software program that travels the web, locating and indexing websites for search engines. What is that going to be? That is our spider software. Okay, now some of these things you might not have been um, aware of before, and that's why I'm going through this so that you are. And then a what contains a transformer so that the motherboard will run at the correct voltage. A power supply. Okay, so we've they've used cookies, they've used plug and play, piggybacking. We saw that being used in 2022, along with UPS, Bluetooth. We know what that is. Our biometrics, peer to peer, client server. That's our network. Our ghosting software is where we're making a copy, an entire copy of a hard drive, like a duplicate. We use ghost software for that. All right. And then the last one was for us to look at these acronyms. So which of these provides a secure connection between internet browsers and websites? That is your SSL, your secure socket layer. Software is able to scan and recognize the written text for editing purposes. That's your OCR software, your optical character recognition software. You've got your RSS feeds where we're getting information from different websites brought into one place. Your acceptable use policy, 
your end user license agreement, your GUI, your CPU, or dots per inch, all of this. They generally don't ask some of these others like CMOS, like that was back in the day where we spoke about that. Okay, 2.2.3, uh, a component in a computer system where most of the calculations take place, that we know is our CPU. Rules and regulations for using a piece, of, a purchase piece of software, that's your end user license agreement, and a form of wireless communication that incorporates tags and readers, that's an RFID. See, there's your RFID, radio frequency identification. All right, and that's 2023. And let's let's go and have a look at some of these multiple choice questions. So this was um, a prelim that we had done. All right, types of storage, booting, um, fiber optic cable. Fiber optic cable, what is the characteristic of your fiber optic cable? Uh, is it slow? No. Has it got electromagnetic interference? No. High bandwidth, yes. The acronym URL, the purpose of a primary key in a database. What does the term digital divide mean? Okay, it's the gap between those who have access to modern information and communication technology and those who don't. Okay, um, main purpose of a router in a network. So you can see we need to know that. Open source software spreadsheets and cloud computing as well okay then we have a section where we are again dealing with sort of choosing the correct term for the definition an area for the temporary storage of data for quick access is what that is the cache the recycle bin is where deleted files and folders go to which of these spoofing or phishing is a fraudulent practice when attacker impersonates another device on the network to steal data, spread malware, and bypass access controls. That is going to be spoofing. Remember phishing? It's like the person going out to fish. They've got bait. They're throwing you a bit of bait, hoping you're going to bite, and then they reel you in. All right, next one. The difference between defragmentation and disk cleanup. Which one is the process of gathering together files that have been scattered? So pieces of those files have been fragmented across the drive. Therefore, defragmentation um, is that process. Right, next one. We've got software designed to corrupt, damage, gain unauthorized access, and there already we stopped. And we know that that's malware because spyware works in the background. 2.1.5, the what connection uses pulses of light? Which of these uses light? Our fiber optic cable. Right, and then I'll match the column again. We know what RAM is, um, what a spreadsheet is. What is this augmented reality? I want to see if they use this one. Yes, they did. So D. <clears throat> a technology that overlays digital information such as images or 3D models onto the real world through devices like smartphones or special glasses. That is augmented reality. We know what the operating system is, the CPU. Have they used, did they use the add-on? Yes, they did. Okay, so let's have a look here. A software extension that adds, adds, add-on, extra features to a primary program enhancing its functionality that is our add-on, right? Our encryption, that is a method of protecting information by transforming it into an unreadable format. Our VR is our virtual reality. Then the definition of our bandwidth and wearable. I just want to get to the... Yeah, wearables are devices worn on the body, often as accessories or clothing, designed to collect and analyze data. All right, and there we are. That is section A worth 25 marks and we've looked now at november 2022 2023 and prelim 2024 so guys that should give us give you a good idea of what your first section in your theory paper um, has in terms of structure and the typical type of questions that you can find